newly married couple are celebrating after getting married in Ninewells Hospital. The groom has been treated in the hospital for over 34 years. After being readmitted six weeks ago, the pair decided they wouldn't let anything hold them back. Well, I asked the staff here first, the ins and outs. And then I phoned Debbie on Wednesday and told her she was getting married on Friday. Didn't ask, you told her? No, I just told her. I was happy, so happy, you know, to share something with the rest of the hospital. The day before the wedding, the bride called her family in Wales to tell them the news. Little did she know, her brother and father would drive up to see the ceremony the very next day. And I'd sort of say to my dad, that was getting married, and um, next thing I knew, you know, they were on the road heading up to, to come up to Scotland for, for the wedding. So my dad actually walked me down the aisle, which was just a dream come true. It was amazing. NHS staff were there to ensure Debbie felt like a princess on her special day. I, I was going to wear this. This is what I'd gotten to get married in. And um, Audrey, the social worker for, for here, had said she works for Teesside Kidney Associ Patient Association, said because Rab had, was getting his kill, I had to have a dress. So she organised for me to go to this shop and, and pick a dress, and um, which me and my daughter did on the morning that we got married. And then we came back to the hospital and I was at the hairdresser's up the stairs. And actually, when I went into the lift, I was faced with myself. I hadn't seen myself up until then. And it, I just started to well up. I couldn't believe it. I looked like just like a princess. It was amazing. Whilst the staff at the hospital helped out on the big day by donating items, local businesses also got involved in helping make the pair's dream come true. Most of the stuff was put together by most of the staff. And, uh, and as they got involved, others got involved too. And uh, even got to see the chief exec. So he come down and give us a present from NHS Deside. Mm -hmm. So that was very nice of them. And then... Robert began receiving dialysis at the hospital when he was just 16 years old. The couple were sure that spending their special day surrounded by the staff at the NHS was the right thing to do. So yeah, it, 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 just, it just felt right. Having having all the hospital staff, his his his, his um, what's it called the renal family, all around, you know these people have kept him alive all this time, and looked after him and cared about him all this time. And it's only right that they should have been part of his day, to share it with him. It was just just perfect. Honestly, it couldn't have been better. I'll need be hemodialysis. I no longer be able to have any other treatment. Yeah. Long time on the machines, it's worn me out a bit. Do yeah, spend as much time, as as time together. Together, yeah. Take one day at a time. Yeah. Here's hoping the pair have many more special days together. Simone Kelly, that's TV.